So let me present a scenario to you. You're on the train or something like that, trying to work on launchpad projects, as I've done quite a few times. And it's just a little bit awkward if you just sort of get a launch pad out and then Terry sitting next to you who's going back to his wife and kids is like, what is that? Why are you bringing this chessboard out? It's just a little bit weird having to bring one of those out in a scenario where it's not really needed. So what I've done is I've created this device called Microlite that I want to show you guys today, which is essentially a launch pad simulator. And you can use it to preview light shows, you can use it to actually produce light shows as well, so you can do all of that, get the full functionality of it without having that awkwardness of Terry next to you being all weird. So in this little video I want to go through the basics of my new plugin Microlite and explain to you exactly what it can do. So you've just picked up your first launchpad but you want to get better at playing it. You can do that with this app that I found called Melodics, which is essentially a launchpad based tutoring software which helps you get the skills you need to play some really advanced launchpad projects. Melodics has over 400 lessons which have already helped over 15,000 other launchpad creators around the world get better with their devices. Get Melodics from the description below and get started with your free trial today. So Microlite has the ability to, within Ableton, basically completely preview any kind of MIDI-based launchpad light show. Having this just makes it like a lot simpler and easier if you want to kind of preview a light show to someone and maybe you don't have a launchpad with you or something like that. It's just a bit weird to actually bring a launchpad out or something like that. So if you want to download Microlite, head to the first link in the description and it'll take you to the download page on my site where you can get the most recent version of Microlite. It will also help as well if you download the input receiver as well. That has a use which I'll show you in a minute. So let's say for example you want to play a little bit of my 1-2 project that I posted last week. But there's no sort of visual representation inside of Ableton of what that light show would look like if you don't have a launchpad or anything like that. So what you can do is once you've downloaded Microlight, you can come and grab it and if you place it before your output manager device in any of my projects, then it will work in the correct way. So as soon as it's loaded up, there's no extra settings that you really have to change. It will already work in its current state. Now there's a few extra things that you should know about this plugin. It's actually possible to pop the window out and get Microlight in its own little device like that. So this window would preview what your light show would look like if you were to play it back on a Launchpad Pro. But the settings and mappings for this are exactly the same on any Launchpad if you use my input and output manager devices. So there's a few settings that you can change here. So if you press show settings, then you can see that we can change the brightness of the LEDs when they're off. That's just kind of a stylistic thing I decided to add in there. You can also change the rotation from 0 to 45 degrees like that. You can change it from a normal Launchpad to a phantom launchpad like my old one. You can change it from looking like a launchpad pro to looking like a launchpad mark II or launchpad x even. And it also gives you a preview of the currently loaded color palette. So if you have any kind of retina palette or anything like that, then you can load that in here as well and change the palette style. However, if you have a launchpad s or old launchpad mini, then the palette won't be quite the same. So if you turn on custom palette, it will swap it to be a launchpad s color palette like that. So that's basically all of the settings to it. And there's one extra thing that I want to talk to you guys about, and that is the input receiver device. So you can see that in its current state, if I come over to Microlight and I start clicking on these buttons, they don't actually do anything at the moment. Now we can fix that by coming over to the input manager device and just after it, placing the Microlight receiver. Now doing that means that any MIDI generated by pressing on the Microlight device will be sent to this input manager if they're on the same Microlite ID. So if I now press one of the buttons on Microlite, you can see that it actually gives light feedback as if I'm completely using a launchpad. Which means, of course, I can now completely disconnect my Launchpad X and just use Microlite for my project. Obviously it's not as nice as being able to play on an actual launchpad, but that's kind of the point of it. It's not supposed to replace the ability of actually having a launchpad. It's purely supposed to be a tool for you to preview light shows and also create light shows and anything like that. So in my other example, I used Microlite next to Output Manager, which I'm obviously aware isn't the standard use case for uh, everyone's project files. So what I'm gonna demonstrate now is the fact that Microlite can be just used as a standard thing as well. So I've got this MIDI track here with a fairly old light show that I made quite a while ago. And what I'm gonna do is just drag Microlite onto this track where there's no other effects on it as well. 
and it should be able to run this light show as if it was playing on an actual launch pad. Now you can see that it runs in that tiny little window down in the bottom chain view, or you can even of course pop the window out like this, and it will of course play the light show back as if there was an actual launch pad there. It's about as close as you can get at the moment. Now it is also possible to actually produce lights using micro light as well, but that needs an extra device that I've made called iDrop, which I'll be doing a video on at some point in the next few weeks or so. So there you go, that covers the basics of my new plugin Microlight, which hopefully will help some of you guys out with producing lights, actually getting them done, you know, if you don't have your launchpad with you or anything like that. So hopefully it makes some of you guys a little bit happier with actually producing. I'm sure Terry would be very happy with this device. Go, go and make Terry happy. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.